All right, optimize teamwork, 10 practical use cases. Uh, this is uh, our goal with this is to, you know, kind of skip past the orientation to teams and more, uh, how does this all get leveraged and, and where are some uh, use cases uh, everyone's to put on their thinking caps and kind of think about where your greatest needs are within your organization. And uh, Tim will kind of help us walk through some of those use cases. Jump right in with the first one, which is process review. Our next use case would be event planning. You can invite people in and out of the team, invite outside you know, speakers so they can be part of that process of building that event. The next up is project management. <clears throat> and this team is tailor-made for project management. Number four. <laughs> so one of the first tasks I was assigned was to build um, extra night sites for some of our customers that we do a lot of managed services for. And so we built sites for them so we could share information with them a lot easier. When I was doing the research for this, I came across a two-person team. It's an executive and their assistant. Training, there's a whole bunch of different ways uh, you can incorporate training into teams. Number seven is our HR employee portal. We developed a whole portal on SharePoint, and we are um, working on moving that over to be a team's site. And it, everything HR, marketing. So we extensively use this at, at Peters and Associates. I mentioned the web design. It's just a great place um, to put information because we have several different people trying to look at it. So when we post one place, we put it all in there, presentations go in there. So everything, everything's in there. And that brings us to our remote workforce. And this is one we added since we did this the first time because it's become <laughs> much more necessary. And then our last one would be board meetings. So we've actually started helping customers design, you know, their implementation of Teams. And we're really good at helping people um, kind of go through this. You bring in the people you want participate and we can kind of repeat this or focus on a few of these and help you get started with teams a big part of this and it's a whole separate webinar is the governance piece so we'll, we'll cover voice and, and conferencing and then on the 23rd is that governance all areas we can help you with 